Hi everyone, this is Omega, and as promised, I am going to crank out another unboxing. This is the March 2021 Sugar Muses Midnight Muses. This is the smaller box. This is the more mysterious box. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. All right, what is the theme? Sorry about not having my glasses. I can't find them. Midnight Muses, Ostara Abundance. Mm, beautiful, just beautiful. Where's the art print? Oh, there's another one. Oh, and it shows the correspondences. Okay, I'll read a little bit of it, what I can. <laughs> this March 19th to the 21st, we celebrate Ostara, the Northern Hemisphere, also known as the Spring Equinox, Lady Day, and the Festival of Trees. This marks the time when the sun hits the zenith at the celestial equator. During this vernal equinox, we celebrate the perfect balance of light and dark masculine and feminine, inner and outer, and the beginning of spring. Yes. Ostara is known as a time to manifest fertility, abundance, rebirths, and new beginnings. Okay. The first step towards creating abundance in your life is to believe you are worthy of it. The next step, like all manifestation, manif manifesting, is your thoughts, your mind set can radically affect the course of your life. True, research has shown that a concept of which a person believes there are enough resources and successes to, oh gosh, I'm sorry, you guys, share, shape with others compared to the scarcity mindset. For example, destructive and unnecessary competition is highly beneficial to creating abundance. Fostering an abundance mindset has become wildly, wildly recognized as a beneficial endeavor in personal, financial, and spiritual development. Yes. Um, this, um, you know, your thoughts and your words have power. I've become to know that in the last few years, just studying and reading and stuff. But there was a time in my life I think I could have really used this advice. Um, I think it would have made a big difference in how things turned out, at least for the time being. I wish I would have had this knowledge to alter things for the good. And we all go through try, trying times in our lives and keeping the faith, trying to keep balance in our lives, I think is very important because at some point you're going to come out on the other side and worrying about it. It honestly, it doesn't really help that much. I think worry and being, I think concern is a good thing because it kind of gets you going to solve your problems, to find solutions but just ruminating, uh, and I'm I am guilty of, of, of this as well, ruminating, thinking things over and over and over, it just, it's not helpful. And I've learned to go with my gut, with my instinct, you know, what is right, what is wrong, and sometimes your feelings, and feelings can be helpful. They can also cloud your judgment, but I think trusting your gut, learning to be intuitive is a good thing. And it takes time. Not everybody, you know, is, I'm not, I wasn't born with, you know, the ability to think, the knowledge to think positively and, you know, law of attraction, things like that. It was just something I learned. 
Oh, the strength card. This is my own energy, so to speak. I am a Leo. Strength. Perseverance. Not making hasty or impulsive decisions. Midnight Muses card. And it looks like some chime candles and matches. I love getting matches. These are gorgeous and I love this green. St. Patrick's Day is coming up, you guys. At least that's what we have in the United States. And I ordered a pair of Irish, they're green and they have the Celtic knot on it, suspenders <laughs> that I'm gonna wear so I don't get pinched. So here are the matches. Butterflies. I love butterflies. Love it. And a sigil. I just, I'm really loving these boxes that are incorporating sigils. Looks like a bay leaf. This is, this here is probably a spell kit. And three gold chime candles. Oh, it looks like a, this looks like a Chinese coin, which is probably a symbol of prosperity. And you get three of these. You can never have too much gold in your life. All right. What is this? Oh, these are, I think, the casting salts, the offering. Mm, it looks like something green in here. Casting salt. Oh, green rice. Hmm, interesting. There is, you know, the tradition of when there's a marriage and they throw rice, that's a sign of abundance, I believe. So that may be part of this. Here are the casting salts. And clover. And a green, oh, it has sparkles in it. I don't know if you guys can see the sparkles in this hand rolled beeswax candle very high quality I love it and looks like a rough stone in this beautiful pouch I've learned to it's nice to have you know crystals and rocks out there um, if it's part of anything I do I cover it I've been covering things in black to keep out because there's good energy sometimes. You just want to keep things neutral. You know, in, in case somebody walks into my space, my library, which is rare. I've had parties and stuff and I need to find a lock for it, but... I, People don't walk into rooms that are already shut, at least when I have company. And a generous amount of incense. It smells fresh. It smells like Irish Spring. I don't know if you guys ever heard about that soap, but honestly, it smells just like it. If you guys get this box, let me know if it smells like that to you. It totally does. So weird. And here is the roll on oil. Blooming woods. Moods. Woods. Sorry. <laughs> mm, smells like candy. 
Abundant Vibes Organic Tea. The pouch it comes in. And here's the bag that comes with it, tea bag. And a chime candle holder. It's a star. And your candle goes here. The chimes. Looks like there's, oh, it doesn't quite fit. Huh. Maybe it's for something else. But this is... I'm wondering if it is a chime. I don't know. Do you put off the offering in it or something? I'll, I'll read it. Okay. O-Star Abundance. And let's see. Money Draw Incense Stick. We got that. Casting Salts. Blooming Woods Ritual Oil. Abundance spell bag. That's what was in that bag. Green rice in the glass vial for you sprinkle in areas where you want to attract money and good luck in your in your wallet. Hmm. Buy your laptop, phone, and anywhere you want to attract abundance. Can also be added to the green satin bag attaining the gemstone along with some clover in the glass vial. Clover is used to attract abundance. And there is an incantation here. Raw emerald gemstone. It's emerald? Interesting. It does have, with the light on it, it is green. In the dark here, it looks gray. But the, I could see the green hue in this. This gemstone was considered a symbol of eternal life in ancient Egypt. Um, a gift of Toth, the god of wisdom, and was a favorite of Queen Cleopatra. Emerald can be used in spells to bring abundance and prosperity physically and spiritually. It is also said to promote tranquility and wisdom Place the bag beside the green beeswax candle. And let the candle burn down completely. Then carry the bag in your purse or keep it by your computer or wherever you do business. Um... The lucky coin, there's a lucky coin, a bay leaf, and you can write on it using a marker what you wish to attract on the bay leaf. I like to use a gold marker. Oh, it's a good idea. Um, this star, wooden star, what is that for? more light. Aziz light. I can't see it. Can't see it. I'm sorry guys. Mm. Talks about the tea. Ah, star candle holder. There's a king of Solomon seal. First pentacle of Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of good fortune, luck. The symbol is believed to bring wealth, fortune, and success. Place it facing up on your altar under the, the star candle holder. Okay. 
Okay, so hmm. yeah, I don't light the gold spell candle with a match from the matchbox. Yeah, if anyone so it is a star candle holder. I wish we had one each for these for each one but that's okay I mean but I think you're probably gonna have to use a match and get this the wax to melt a little and in, in order to make this fit because the the hole here is a little too small for at least mine is uh, on the star to fit the chime but very nice box. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. And just anything. Yeah, first pentacle of Jupiter. Now what you can do is make your own sigils with tracing paper and trace over it. I think that's really neat. So this is what you get this you get the three chime candles and the chime candle holder pentacle pentagram sorry the incense that smells like Irish spring I love that the tea this roll-on oil. This is probably to anoint yourself and your tools. The trio of the casting salts, clover, and green rice. I don't know if I, you can see them all together like that. Oh, well. You guys know what this looks like. Sigil, first pentacle of Jupiter, the emerald, rough emerald, and beautiful butterfly matches. Uh, this lucky coin, which is part of it, the ritual, I guess, and green candle, and let's not forget the abundance correspondences and abundance itself and it says there's an oracle card here I don't see it unless that's the oracle card I don't see it here did I pull it out you guys without me really remembering it yeah, I don't, I don't think I got it. Oh, I did. Duh, Omega. Was the strength card. Honestly. Blame it on the thyroid. And that's one thing. If, you're, if your thyroid is low, you get a little forgetful of things. And it really is annoying sometimes. When I get like that, I get really short with myself. This is just beautiful. And I'm pretty certain that there's a tarot deck on the website where you can get the tarot cards, the full tarot deck. Just gorgeous. I'm very pleased with this box. I have one more coming and that's the Sugar Muses Deluxe box. So as soon as that comes in, I will do the unboxing. And until then, stay well. Bye.